The other question that's been exercising the minds of the fans and the pundits has to be said has been the news this week that Dwayne Vermeulen is down to play for the Barbarians on the 27th of November, same day in Ulster are due to play Leinster. Uh, what, have you make of, what have you made of that? Yeah, like, I can see it from the players' point of view, you know, playing for the Barbarians, I wish, and Andrea and I actually chatted before we come on air, I would have loved to have played for the Barbarians and given an opportunity, I would have grabbed it with both hands. So you can see totally from Dwayne Vermeulen, but from an Ulster Rovi point of view, a fan's point of view, we want to see him here playing in the big games, playing against Leinster. Psychologically, if you get a win with him and the team going forward, you know, how does that impact the rest of the season? And I'm sure his contract probably doesn't start until he actually lands in Belfast. So from a player's point of view, you know, fair play to him, go for it. But at the same time, I'd love to see him here. Could they not have got the contract to start a wee bit earlier, Andrew? Yeah, it's, it's hard to know. We're, we're totally speculating. No one really knows that what the arrangement is, exactly what's going on and what was and what way that negotiation happened. As Stevie says, from a fan's perspective, it would be great to have him, of course, but sometimes these things work out. Uh, as long as Ulster supporters have him the rest of the season, we get him whenever we've got the big knockout games at the end of the season, I think that's when it counts. I just hope that we always talk about you know, the games that somebody gets injured and then they're out for a few weeks and a big European Cup run as well for, for Ulster and big, tough, hard games coming up. You know, the, the games have fallen for them quite favourably in the first four or five fixtures of the URC. So we just want them to stay fit and make sure he arrives in Belfast, you know, safe and well.